For the moment, uh, it was preparatory work. Now the ministers are flying in, uh, and now it gets serious. Uh, it gets also serious, uh, not to be in a certain sense uh, that the whole uh, this whole exercise here, important exercise here in Marrakesh, will be trumped, so that everything is just going around this uh, anti-climate message from from Trump. Uh, we need to to be clear. Climate change is very urgent and we need to get action. That's what we hope to get from the European Commission, who I want to be much more active, showing that Europe is uh, leading the international climate analysis. So it, it's very easy. You are living on an island. Uh, if we go for two degrees, then the water is there and you will have to quit your island. If we go for quicker and more ambition now and basically meaning between now and 2018 to be decided then the water on the islands will be at that level so uh, it's a, a question of survival for hundreds of thousands if not millions of citizens living in countries like Bangladesh on the coastline or on small islands so what is really difficult to accept is that European Commission Commissioner Caniete all the time says um, we have no problem, uh, we will do this later in the 20s. It's now, if we don't act quick, it's very, it will be very difficult to get to 1.5% upper climate change uh, changement. And uh, with that, we will force millions of people to leave the, their homes. Do we really want that to happen? The problem is that for the moment uh, everybody is, is in a certain sense falling into the trap of Trump and uh, I, my message is uh, Trump uh, is, is this rhetoric, we should not overreact to it, we should organize our business now and organize as a business now is using this week with the Obama administration to get quick progress everywhere where we can and especially also on this 2018 re early review of the national plans, which is the only chance to keep this planet at 1.5 degree, which is the only chance to get hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people to stay in their homes and not to be climate refugees.